Shock. Prince of Wales title scrapped from Prince William by King Charles III for this awful reason. Picture this. You're scrolling through your social media feed, and suddenly, a headline jumps out at you. Prince of Wales title is scrapped from Prince William by King Charles III for this awful reason. Your heart races. Is it a scandal? A royal feud? The kind of juicy gossip that makes you feel like you're peeking behind the curtain of Buckingham Palace? But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Well, grab your tea and settle in, because we're diving deep into this royal shocker. But first, let's talk about why this news has everyone buzzing. Titles in the royal family are like badges of honor. They carry history, prestige, and a hefty dose of responsibility. When Prince Charles became King Charles III, the world held its breath. What would happen to the titles? Would they remain unchanged, or would we witness a royal reshuffle that could rival any game of chess? So, why does the title of Prince of Wales hold such significance? It's not just a name, it's a symbol of heritage, culture, and the future of the monarchy. Imagine being handed the weight of a nation on your shoulders at a young age. It's enough to make anyone's head spin. But what if I told you that this seemingly straightforward title could hold secrets and stories that would put any soap opera to shame? Curiosity peaked. What's behind the title change? As we delve deeper, let's consider what led to this unexpected decision by King Charles III. Was it a matter of tradition, or was there something more personal at play? The juiciest part of the story lies in the motivations behind the change. Did you know that titles have been a source of tension in royal families for centuries? From Queen Victoria's reign to modern times, the question of who gets what title can ignite debates hotter than a summer's day in London. Let's take a quick jaunt through history, shall we? The title of Prince of Wales dates back to the 13th century, first bestowed upon Edward I's son. It was a title that signified a connection to Wales and its people. But over the years, the title has carried its fair share of drama. For instance, did you know that the title was once stripped from a future king due to a scandal involving a commoner? Talk about a plot twist. Now, let's return to the present. What does it mean for Prince William and his family? When titles change, so do expectations. The media starts to speculate, fans weigh in on social media, and suddenly, everyone has an opinion. Imagine waking up to find that your title, and thus your identity, has been altered overnight. What would you feel? Relief? Confusion? A mix of both? The implications are vast. For William and Kate, this could shift their roles within the royal family and how the public perceives them. Will they become more relatable? Or will it distance them from their royal duties? Let's pause for a moment. What if the decision to scrap the title was rooted in a desire for change? A way to modernize the monarchy and make it more relatable to the younger generation? King Charles III has often spoken about his wish to evolve the royal family. Could this be his way of setting the stage for a new era? Picture this, a monarchy that resonates with the youth, where titles don't define individuals, but rather their contributions to society. Wouldn't that be refreshing? As we navigate this royal landscape, it's essential to recognize the challenges that come with modernizing a centuries-old institution. Tradition is a powerful force, but so is the need for relevance. Think about it. How often do we see people debating the role of royalty in a modern democracy? In a world where social media reigns supreme, the royal family faces scrutiny like never before. Put yourself in King Charles III's shoes for a moment. If you had the power to reshape an institution steeped in tradition, how would you balance the old with the new? Would you prioritize public opinion, or would you stick to the tried and true? These are the kinds of questions that swirl around royal decisions. It's not just about titles. It's about legacy, identity, and how history will remember them. Now, let's talk about the public's reaction. When news broke about the title change, social media erupted. Some people cheered, while others lamented the loss of tradition. Isn't it fascinating how a title can evoke such strong emotions? It's a reminder that the monarchy is not just a relic, it's a living entity that affects real lives, including our own. In an age where connection is key, the royal family has an opportunity to tell their story in a way that resonates. 
Imagine a documentary series that dives into their lives, showcasing their struggles and triumphs. Wouldn't that bridge the gap between royalty and the public? This could be a game changer. By humanizing their experiences, they can foster empathy and understanding. As we look to the future, one thing's for sure, the monarchy will continue to adapt. Whether it's through title changes, new initiatives, or innovative storytelling, the royal family has a lot on its plate. So, what's next for Prince William? Will he embrace a new role without the Prince of Wales title? Or will he carve out a unique identity that reflects his values and vision for the monarchy? Let's not forget the younger generation. They are the future, and how they perceive the monarchy will shape its evolution. What do you think? Should titles matter in a modern context? Engaging young minds in discussions about the monarchy can lead to fresh perspectives and innovative ideas. Perhaps it's time for a royal youth council. Imagine the possibilities. In conclusion, the decision to scrap the Prince of Wales title from Prince William is more than just a headline. It's a pivotal moment in royal history. It signifies a shift, a new chapter that invites us all to reflect on the role of tradition in our lives. As we've explored the complexities of this decision, I encourage you to share your thoughts. What do you think about the changes in the royal family? Are you excited for what the future holds, or do you prefer the traditions of the past? Let's start a conversation. Comment below or share this article with friends who are just as curious about the royal family as you are. Together, we can navigate this royal roller coaster and uncover the stories that shape our world. Don't just sit there, let your voice be heard. What are your thoughts on the title change? How do you envision the future of the monarchy? Engage with us in the comments or share this article on social media. The conversation is just getting started, and we'd love to hear from you.